The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. Fire alarm strobe slash visual alarm. Let's get one piece of vocabulary out of the way, and that's called candela. Candela is represented in all the code books with a CD and a number. And that CD and a number is the brightness of the strobe. This video is only on wall-mounted strobes. So having a wall-mounted strobe, all measurements are measured in relationship to the glass surrounding the actual strobe. The strobe must be mounted no less than 80 inches off the floor measuring from the bottom of the glass and no greater than 96 inches measured from the top. There is an exception when your ceiling height is below or right at 80 inches, 6 feet 8. Where can your strobe go? Your strobe is allowed by exception to be only 6 inches below the ceiling. It can't be seven, can't be eight. It can be within six inches of the ceiling. Let's start off by looking at a corridor slash hallway. All strobes, regardless of the size or the number of candela, a strobe must be within 15 feet of the end of any hallway or end of any corridor, even if it is an exit. So a candela of 110 or CD110, has a strobe throw distance of 50 feet by 50 feet. Even with this candela size, a strobe must be within 15 feet of the exit or the end of a hallway slash corridor. Most of the code information is based on a candela of 15. But regardless of the candela, we need to look at charts in the code to understand what the different candelas may be spaced at. So the code specifically states that a 15 candela can have a spread of 20 feet by 20 feet. The candela number is not one for one for the foot spreadage. So take a look at the code and understand what you're allowed to use. Each manufacturer should have it listed as well. Let's understand room layout of strobes as well. With a candela of 30 and a room size of 50 feet by 50 feet. And this candela just happens to coincide with its actual footage coverage. None of the others do. So placing the strobe in the middle of the wall, we have a coverage of 30 feet to 30 feet, approximately 10 feet from either side. Then the strobe in the center of the other wall Again, we have 10 feet from either side. This is leaving a void in the corner or corners. This is not the proper way to design it. So with a candela of 30 feet, basically 15 feet from either side, we place the strobe 15 feet from the wall and we have our coverage out. Taking the other candela or strobe, placing it, and it having also a 30 candela reaches 30 feet in front of it, 15 feet from the wall. This layout actually covers the entire room with still only four strobes. Now my issue as an architect is the strobe being in the middle of the wall. That's exactly where I want artwork or the owner wants artwork. The strobe is not the artwork. So having in some areas a larger candela a larger throw to it may be more important and having it placed closer to the corner. So this all needs to be kept in mind when laying out the space and the type of strobes that are used. Please post or email comments on what you've seen. Suggestions for future topics are also welcome. Marty enjoys learning from the experience of others. More videos will be added which can be found at MartyHuey.com.